today on Paddleboard Places, we aren't taking you to any places. We're giving you some tips. So the first tip we want to give you is to use a wind app. We use Sailflow. There are many others out there as well. And we always track the wind. We never go at 12 to 15 miles or beyond. We will always go under 10 miles an hour. It'll tell you the speed of the wind at the hours that you're going to be out there. Follow it religiously. The next tip, and probably the most critical one, is what you take to eat. For you, maybe. <laughs> so we use this bag, waterproof bag by Bill. So we've got some apples. So we've got our frozen water bottles, our apples, snacks in the bag, and it rolls up and it's waterproof. See how this rolls down, claps there, got a little handle, and it's also got a long handle, which I really like because then when we're carrying our boards down to the beach, it just goes over your shoulder and you still have your hands free. Is carabiners, they can be your best friend out here. In case you tip over or tumble, they keep things attached to your board. So we always take our hydro flask with a little hole in the end so we can clip a carabiner on there and then you just clip it right to your strings and then I tuck it under and just lay it there. I also, I don't like to wear shoes paddle boarding, John does. These little water shoes help you get in the water because sometimes the terrain is rough but they have a little clip, a little uh, loop. loop at the end and I just carabiner these right onto my board. Okay, here, so here's another tip for you. Sometimes if you fall in or your glasses fall in, they get all fogged up. Put a, a towel in a plastic baggie and let, I just put that in my zipper pocket of my life jacket. Allison also puts keep, uh, tissue and chapstick, chapstick things that, you, that be of no value if they got wet. But if I need to blow my nose. <laughs> so another tip that we like is for keys, wallets, whatever, to get a dry bag, put it in your dry bag fold it up and then you want one with a clip so that you can clip it over your bungee cords and if you fall in that's not going anywhere. Let's talk about is get some I think they call these chums they go on your sunglasses and they'll hold them in case you fall in the water and they'll float. The tip we'll give you is uh, paddles. The paddles that usually come with the board are average they're okay but you'll find great relief in investing in a paddle. I'm using the red paddle. Allison's is called Black Project, and they're very lightweight, and you might not think it makes a difference. It makes a big difference. It makes a difference. So you want to think about your paddles. Okay, here's the other tip we'll give you. When you're doing cleanup, buy a tarp, a tarp long enough to put your boards on. Otherwise, you lay your board on the ground and it just gets more dirty than it is. That's one tip. The other is to use a old towel or something to wipe them off with. If they're dry when they go in the bag, then they last a lot longer. Okay, we're just cleaning up. Wipe as you go and roll it. And it's a pretty easy cleanup, especially if you put the tarp down. Keeps it from getting real dirty. We just throw them in the back of our little car. That's the beauty of an inflatable. Okay, so those are our tips for paddle boarding. Hope you enjoy those. Hope you learned a few things. Should save you some time and make things a little easier. So until next time, keep paddling. Click that like button and subscribe.